I must admit that I was not expecting to enjoy Sanctuary RPG Black Edition as much as I ended up doing. I'm pleasantly surprised, because being pleasantly surprised is more of a rare occurrence the older I get and the more games I play. I also had preconceived notions going in that I probably wouldn't like it, because it was an RPG displayed entirely in ASCII code. I was expecting a really tough lo-fi game that would only appeal to a very niche set of old-school gamers. I'm glad I was wrong. First, let me talk about class choice. It doesn't really matter. Pick the class you most enjoy playing in an RPG and take it from there. The combat is exactly the same for a wizard as it is for an assassin, only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. You just choose to focus on different stats and weapons. What does mix things up a little more are the perks you choose based on where your character comes from. This leads into your character's absurd backstory, and where you discovered that Sanctuary RPG is actually pretty funny, at least if you enjoy non sequiturs, and a light silly tone when it comes to story, quest, and boss battles. When it comes to combat, you get into a rhythm. There's opening attacks, blinking attacks, and finishing attacks. Build your meter up enough, and you can unleash a super. Alongside this, you have to manage your MP and health, as well as reposition your character to break through an enemy's guard or limit your exposure. This creates an ebb and flow of tough encounters, and a quick rhythmic succession while grinding out levels. This is an RPG after all. Most foes drop chances for loot that can be salvaged if you don't want to equip it. There are quite a few places to visit in town at any point, and crafting is only one such system that you can spend your time on as you progress. If you progress, that is. The recommended game mode is one of permadeath. The game treats itself as a roguelike, but there are no unlocks that can aid future play sessions as you progress. It's more of a one-and-done linear progression that you become better and more cautious at as you slowly move forward. There is a casual mode that lowers the item drop rate upon death, so at least there is consolation to those who just want to make their way through. Permadeath certainly creates a sense of tension, and a feeling of responsibility when you start to treat battles as routine. It's very reminiscent of hardcore mode in a Diablo game. 